Hello! Today we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. What have you done, Kevin? What? It's an excellent game because I know for a fact that you've always got your finger on the pulse and you are always looking to uh, chase up cult followings of modern games that are popular right now on the 12th of February 2018. I know you'll get this out promptly. Well, we better get going then, haven't we? Mm. Oh, fuck. Right, we're going to start talking the second the, t the title screen loads up because that's when the stupid music starts happening. Do you mean stupid music? Oh wait, no, the stupid music started already. Excellent music, you need. This game is not suitable for children or those that are easily disturbed. But Doki Doki! Literature Club. Literature Club. Doki Doki! Literature Club. With all the girls in the tiny skirts is Doki Doki. Literature Club. Doki Doki. Literature Club. Doki Doki. Literature Club. Now let's all touch the tiny girls. Literature Club. I'm pretty sure Doki Doki Literature Club just like translates to nonce the game in English. I, I looked into this actually. Uh, Doki is like meant to be like pounding heart or something, what a hot hot heart or some shit like that. It's oh. like basically like Heartburn. oh I'm all of I'm all of a flutter. Indigestion the game. It's the well, it's dating sim shit in it. Please enter your name, Foy. Foy. <laughs> no, you're not playing this. Mr. Tumble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Tumble. Mr. Tumble Sam. 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 The one you're getting into it, Krusty. Good lad. Cabbage. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh, what? did we not get voice acting? No, of course we don't get voice acting. Part two of the stupid pigeon game. Yes, it is the stupid pigeon game. I don't know the stupid pigeon game. The hat filled Very boyfriend. Very first fucking. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. Do the She's accent. Totally, but no. <laughs> totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. This is an American game. He's, he's that. that girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tumble. Son. You, you know, know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. That's Mr. Tumble's voice. So is it? Yes. Because I was expecting to go, in the mirror world! <laughs> <laughs> but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We I used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Can't wait to be reading this after a few pints. <laughs> But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away! Move. However, I just sat and idle in front of the crosswalk and let's hey catch up to me. Savory. Savory. That's Stop a great name. Ha! Ha! <laughs> the sound of all my past. Hi, oi, Something. Yeah, you can do that voice. You can, you're her now. I overslept again. <laughs> 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 when I caught you this time, Les Dawson. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe. But, that's me, Mr. Uh, Tumble Sam. Mr. Tumble Sam. No, Ooh. you're Mr. Tumble Sam. <laughs> Why? Because you did the Mr. Tumble voice in the mirror world. So I've got to do the Mr. Tumble voice every time. Though. Yes, no, you do. You, you've locked yourself <laughs> in. Maybe, but only because I decided <laughs> to stop and wait for you. <laughs> eee, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Mr. Tumble Sam. <laughs> this is going to be this is, four hours. Yeah, four it? hours. Yeah. <laughs> We're already edging I'm towards not, the ten-hour mark. I'm not doing the voice. Do the voice. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I it's don't. Not funny want anymore. <laughs> well, if people. <laughs> Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. They won't, you're not a child. Well, not young enough. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. <laughs> Whatever you say, C.R.E. <laughs> <laughs> We crossed the street together, make our way to school. 
What Why the fuck? The Caribbean. <laughs> okay. That's just a narrator. You can do it in your own voice, you tit. <laughs> oh, I thought the narrator was Caribbean. So <laughs> technically, the narrator's fucking Mr. Tumble Song. Do it in Potter title's voice. I can't remember what that was. As we drew near, the streets became increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commutes. By the way, Mr. Tumble Song, have you decided on a club to join you? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Look, it's all spotty just for Mr. Tumble Sam. Shut up. <laughs> hey, that's not true. <clears throat> you told me you would join a club this year. Did, Did I? I? Did I? Me. Right. Mr. Tumble Sam. Who knows if that I'm is. sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Obviously. Sounds like that oh. me. <laughs> I was talking about how, worry, how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Hang on, I've got to... You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. I don't know what neat means. All right, all right. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, what was that? I look at if you cut... No, that's you, innit? <laughs> So it's you. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Hang on. So NEAT, um, another acronym for sociologist. NEAT stands for Not in Education, <laughs> but it's all training. So job centre then? Yeah. Got you. Or from the world. I've got three jobs, sure. and this shit. That's why no one else can get one. It's <laughs> <coughs> Foy. Definitely not. It is, it's not got my name at the top. Yeah, yeah but you, the, you're, you're, you're the oh, I'm not doing that. Right, you, you can you. do it. Why do I let myself get touched by such a carefree girl? <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. When I'm cleaning windows, when I'm cleaning windows, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> <laughs> the school days is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. I know it. I know it. After I pack up my things there blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Can you stop doing that? Now? Clubs. <laughs> That's you. Clubs! <laughs> clubs. See, Ari wants me to check out some right, clubs. You're not allowed to read anything anymore. <laughs> I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Club. Hello. <laughs> Sayori. Sorry, must have. Come into the classroom <laughs> while I was pacing out. I look around and realise that I'm the only one left in the fucking classroom. Can you not sing it? I can. Can you just do it in your normal voice? Oh. I thought I'd catch you coming out of my classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No what? Well, that you could come to my club. Oh. Uh. Sayori. Yes. There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> eh, hey, meanie. Siri is vice president of the literature club. The more you know. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% uh. sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Club. Since she was the first one to show interest after one who proposed a club. After the one who proposed a club, she inherited the title vice president of the club. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyway? 
Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'll bring in a new member. And Natsuki makes cupcakes and everything. Eh. What are the promises you can't keep? Can't tell if Suri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I'll out alongside. Sigh! Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. That was an exciting The next scene. character is for you and he's got to do it in his Clarkson voice. <laughs> and thus today marks the day I That's saw That's not a character that. for you. Oh, sorry. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <clears throat> I dejectedly followed Sir across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sorry, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me new member. I glance around the room. It is. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori says nice things about you. Is that me then? Yeah. What voice do I do? Japanese voice. No, don't do Japanese I voice. I will not do a Japanese don't voice. Don't do Japanese voice. I guess with this seriously, it should be one of those. Seriously! And just be really. Serious Ray. No. No. Seriously! You brought a bun! <laughs> Where the cat is fair! Why are you brain damaged? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, no! Ah, Mr. Tumble Sun. What a nice surprise. I thought he was doing Japanese voice for what a about? second. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Face. All words escape me in this situation. Fuck it. I'm just looking at it. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Who wow. said it, mate? Is that, is that me? Or is that it? That's, that's you. What are you looking at? <laughs> that's changed already. If you want to say something, say it. Turn it to you, now. you are literally the worst of I am. in the world. <laughs> I don't, that's not my job. Just do your normal voice. So sorry. Nasuki. Humph. Wait, yeah. is that? That's me. Um, I didn't get a harumph out of this guy. Harumph. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Get in. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Good. Don't say things like that. Different accent every time. <laughs> Yori, who appears to be comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I'm fucking no more. That's right. That's me. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Monica? Who's the fuck's Monica? They've been given names now, they're not Girl 1, Girl 2 and Girl 3. Yeah. What? It's Girl 3. It's great to see you again, Mr. Tumbleson. Monica smiles <laughs> sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we're in the same class last year. No Foy. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Trying to stop Foy from Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Mm. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Mr. Tumble Sam. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or oh, Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Joey's favourite. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. It's the voice now. Is Sorry, it? I got a little too excited. No, no, about time make some tea as well. <laughs> She's going really well. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Wise. As Surrey mentioned, it's between white. <laughs> It's been whining so that there was one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Any point in this game at all. 
Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you ready? Contender. No. Ta da! <laughs> well, oh, alright. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated in what looks like little cat's meow. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we used to make ears. Excellent. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hey, well, you know! <laughs> Just orientate one! Siri so grabs the first one, then Monica and I follow. It's delicious. Sarah talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Mm. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. It's a circle. Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. <laughs> <laughs> is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. <laughs> thank you, Natsuki. Why you thank me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Neither for you or anything. Hey, I, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe! But not for you, you know, you, you dummy. All right, so all many right. voices. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Many books so she, far. She carefully places a teacup in front, of e in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> yeah, I guess. It was well. He he he. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. It, th 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 that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I know! I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed, to really, seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Can you hear the different voices that I'm doing? Yeah man, they're so fucking on point. We'll make sure that you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Ofs. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy to make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Nod. Then I'm, surprised. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that put doesn't... Put some wine in that, I can't. Krusty, can you do Monica? Oh, what? I'm doing Lutsy, the... Mate. <laughs> That's I'll what? do Monica. I'll invent more No, you're more not voices. doing any more voices. One is enough. Oh, you have to work hard. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. <laughs> oh shit! That's, that's better. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. 
I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> we'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. She is. Oh, Maybe that's why... all over again. Shut up. <coughs> Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Member. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up to their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Mr. Tumble-san, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I'm not too quietly to myself, half joking. <clears throat> it looks like she really wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What's my say? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. Excellent. Yes. And my favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship is better than them amazing to me. Yes. Stop moving the chair, it's and really good. Like a good story in such a farm world is equally I don't impressive. Want <coughs> Yuri goes on clearly oh, passionate about her reading. Stop going on. <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. Am I the only one getting music? No, I've got music. No, I've got change. Okay, just wondering. Follow you, guys. No, but you know, I like a lot of things. <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It's amazing how I just go deliberately take advantage of that Jeremy Clark? I don't know! <laughs> just, 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 when did you see Jeremy Clark talk about this? Anyway! <laughs> I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Can we get some of that please? Ah! I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something so I can relate to... I can relate to at the minimal level. I'm not good at reading! <laughs> so I relate to the character of Mr. Tumbleson. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation <laughs> with Rock. If you smell what I'm cooking. Oh, is that me? Oh, that's you. You're this Jamaican. Really? You. I wouldn't have expected that blood clap for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. <clears throat> but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Eh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? <laughs> well, I just... Now Suki's eyes dart <laughs> over to me for a split second. <clears throat> no, man! <laughs> that right, you usually like to write about cute thing, don't you, that Suki? What? <laughs> what can you do that, dude? <laughs> Like you're right, you're gradually going world, death. Yeah. <laughs> take, take it to death. Take it to I'll death. Take it to death. <laughs> you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't hear now! <laughs> Get back! My son is deaf, it's fine. <laughs> Fine, fine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poem. <laughs> Everything you do is just as cute as you are. And... Sorry slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Mm. And cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Please <laughs> <not>. <laughs> I guess sometimes. Why are you care? I think that was impressive. 
Why don't you share them sometime? in the background. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a fucking mess. I I can't, sat I'm coming away it. from death. I'm Natsuki away from death. I can't do that anymore. It's bad. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. What are you going to do? Then? your voice. You wouldn't like them. <laughs> it's not your voice. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. What's you? You. I understand that that's the feels. tall one. That's you. All right, purple air, that's me. Sharing the level of writing makes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Deepjis. You must be willing to <laughs> open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience to Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Fucking sick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. Guess it's safe for Yuri. Oh, I want me to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Which one's that? But... I you have to look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even Jaras the bar. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help us all to get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the band of the club. Isn't that right, Mr. Tumble Song? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what the... Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join this club. So you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lose my train of thought. As they all do their fucking anime eyes. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Mm. But. I'm sorry, I thought. What is that? It's Clarkson. <laughs> Mr. Tumble Sam. You all. Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. <laughs> okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Hey! Did we win? One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. So, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Um. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcake, I no, would no, be no, super no, 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 pissed. Oh, shit. If you really didn't come for the cupcake, I'd be super pissed. To America now? How do you just do old Greg? Didn't that make it official? Yeah, just do old Greg for Old Greg now. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. <laughs> It's the tumble Sam. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? What are you on about? You're in a room full of writers. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. So do I. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Mr. tumble Sam, since we're already here, do you yeah. want to walk oh, home yeah. together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay. 
and we're back here. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, <coughs> Yori, and of course, Monica. Iri. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in lit a literature club? Probs. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Absolutely. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. And we'll write that poem next time. It's that... Yeah. More on this sick 8-bit beat. Bet it's gone shit. It has gone shit. More on this sick 8-bit drum pattern next time. On this shit game. This yeah. game's excellent. Shut your face. Play it immediately. Absolutely fucking what, what is excellent about this game? <laughs> Trust me. No.